you are strolling through the streets of London and vibrant, beautiful spring blooms are all over the city. What will you wear and what will you take with you? The last time I was in London, it was in April and it was still rather chilly. If I had to do it again, this is what I'd pack. A cashmere sweater, a blue button up, a sweater blazer, and a trench coat. Black ankle pants and beige ankle pants. And a lovely satin slip skirt with just a minimal print to it. I'd also pack this cable knit cardigan and white t-shirt underneath. Layering in London is absolutely essential. Unlike Paris, I never felt the warmth of the day when I could shed one of those layers. In fact, we would go to restaurants and I would keep my jacket or coat on because I was still chilly. So in this capsule wardrobe, I have designed layer pieces that are in spring hues to keep you warm while still looking stylish for spring. And we all know that a trench coat is essential for London. There are brief rain showers at parts of the day and it just gives you a little added warmth. This cashmere sweater or jumper as they call it in the UK, I'm actually holding it up there with fashion tape, but as you'll see later in the video, the fashion tape doesn't hold, so I go with another solution. And I'm not much of a scarf person, but I think London calls for a little neck scarf just to add a focal point to the outfit. And this scarf is a muted color, muted print, so it's not popping out at the viewer. Like, look at me. I am wearing the outfit. The outfit is not wearing me. Rather than a traditional blazer, I would pack a sweater blazer the next time I went. It gives added warmth when you're layering two sweaters together, obviously, but still looks chic and still has a spring feel to it. And a word about these loafers that I'm wearing. They are rubber sole with arch support and very comfortable. I've been wearing them around the house every day and I just ordered a second pair in bone. The next piece I would pack is this blue button down shirt to add a little bit of spring color and a layering piece to the outfits. Just a reminder, you do not have to tuck your shirt, especially in the midlife years when we all get a little extra around our midsection. It is totally okay to wear your shirt untucked and I will do a video on how to do that soon. The next piece I would pack are these beige pants to add a light and airy spring feel to the capsule wardrobe. I love how nicely the beige pants and loafers pair with this blue button up and a different shade of beige for the trench coat. It all comes together very nicely. This outfit is perhaps my favorite of the capsule wardrobe. It's warm, the colors are light for spring, and it is oh so chic and stylish. 
adding this neck scarf and a muted pastel tone adds a focal point to the outfit and breaks up the monochromatic look. I actually paired this with the sweater blazer as well for a very fashionable look, but the video did not turn out. You can see it in the still photos at the end. For a dinner look, I have paired the cashmere sweater with the skirt here. I'm actually using a skinny belt to hold it up here rather than fashion tape. Tucking made it look too short. The fashion tape didn't hold on the cashmere fabric, but the skinny belt did the trick and evened out the proportions. And now I've added the sweater blazer for warmth. I tried the scarf, but it was too much print on print, a little too busy for this outfit. I had more video for this travel capsule, but it didn't turn out. You can see the outfits in the still photos at the end. Until we meet again, my friends.